Have you ever wondered how those weird anesthesia drugs manage to knock you out cold for surgery without killing you? It's like magic putting your brain on snooze mode. A long time ago, surgery was basically torture since doctors had no good way to numb the crazy pain. People either got strapped down fully awake or guzzled drinks to dull their senses a bit. Yikes. Thankfully, in 1846, an American dentist named William Morton became the first to use inhaled ether fumes to put patients in a sleep-like state for painless procedures. It was a game changer. Other early anesthesia drugs like nitrous oxide and chloroform quickly followed, making surgeries easy breezy instead of nightmarish screaming matches. So how does this snooze button magic happen? Well, when anesthesia enters your bloodstream, it disrupts the messaging signals between your brain and nerve cells. See, your brain normally uses special messenger molecules to activate or deactivate neurons in precise patterns. But then, these anesthesia drugs come barging in, jumbling up those signals. Either they amplify sleep-promoting molecules like GABA to turn neurons off, or block wake-up molecules like glutamate from turning them on. Bam! Your brain's communication gets so discombobulated, it basically takes a nice, peaceful nap. Crazy, right? These drugs can straight-up disable consciousness while still keeping essential reflexes like breathing and blood pumping online. Your brain goes to sleep while your body stays alive and ticking. Modern anesthesia is usually a special cocktail targeting different jobs, disabling pain memory, movement paralysis, plus that all-important temporary lights-out state. Too much, and you slip into a coma. Too little, and you may wake up mid-surgery. Ouchie. That's why anesthesiologists are always monitoring dosage levels like hawks. The ability to flip a brain's awareness on and off while keeping bodily functions safe is a wild feat of medical science. Just think, people used to chug ancient opium milkshakes before old-timey bone sawing commenced. So next time you go under for a routine procedure, be grateful for that blissful anesthesia slumber.